how's it going guys? This is Dave2D and welcome to the third episode of my laptop setup, a series where I feature the laptop setup that you guys submit as well as showcase whatever it is that you do with your gear. And this week's episode is themed around 3D modeling and design. Our first submission is from Loyak. He's a 17 year old kid from France. He's running a 17 inch Asus X751, which is an older laptop. He's running a Porsche design one terabyte drive from Lacy. Really nice looking drive, I love that thing. For inputs, he's using a CM Storm Devastator keyboard and a Perix MX3000 mouse. And when he's not mobile and he's working at home, he connects up to a higher monitor. So Loic works with 3ds Max and Photoshop, and from the looks of his renders, he really likes doing architecture stuff. So he's got a handful of exterior building renders and interior design renders, and it looks like a lot of them are using multiple light sources, which probably crank up render times on his particular laptop. And he's got a couple more complex pieces where he's done some Photoshop work to add in some backgrounds. So here's the thing, Loic's setup isn't super cool or anything, but what he does with it was really impressive. And he actually attached a note that I wanted to share with you guys. He wrote, even if you don't have your dreams set up with love and patience, you're able to get closer to what you want. And that's been my experience. Even with a lot of crashes, lag and long render times, you're able to create some 3D stuff like this, even if it's not perfect. And that to me is the embodiment of my laptop setup. Gear is cool, but what you do with it is that much better. Thank you for your submission, Loic. That was really neat. Okay, next up is Brandon. His main laptop is the Microsoft Surface Book. This made me very happy to see. I really liked the Surface Book. It was such a cool idea and Microsoft designed this thing for people like Brandon. If you're unfamiliar, it's a powerful tablet that becomes even more powerful when you connect it to the keyboard because there's a graphics card inside the keyboard. He's using the Logitech MX Master Mouse. That's a very popular mouse amongst content creators. I actually use one a lot in the office. He's using a Nexus 6P with a bamboo skin from Dbrand, and that pairs nicely with his Huawei watch, which I think is one of the best looking smartwatches on the market right now. He's also using a Samsung Galaxy Tab, which I'm assuming is for lightweight media consumption, and he also carries the JBL OnePlus earphones and a Samsung NX1000 camera. So Brandon's renders are done in Google SketchUp. He submitted some phones, some of which are renders of existing phones like the S7 Edge, and there's one of the OnePlus 3. And he's also included a phone that he designed himself, I think, that kind of looks like a mix between a Galaxy phone with the curved back, but the front looks like a Nexus 6P, which I think for a lot of people would be a dream phone. Like if Samsung made a Nexus phone, that would be awesome. Also in this photo, I noticed you're working on something with multiple phone layers, which I thought was pretty neat. So thank you, Brandon, for your submission. It's really cool to see someone with a Surface Book as their main device. All right, last up, we have Jesper. He's also using a Surface device, but he's got the Surface Pro 4 with the gray keyboard. He's using a Lumia 950 Windows phone, and the mouse he's using is the Microsoft Designer Bluetooth. I've never actually seen this mouse before, but it looks super clean. And to protect the Surface Pro 4, he's using the Incipio Specialist sleeve. And for headphones, he's using the Sony MDR XB450. So it's a full Microsoft setup. The photography episode I did last week had a ton of Apple hardware. This week, not a single piece of Apple hardware in sight. Okay, so Jesper submitted a bunch of what looks like art assets for games, some full scenes and some individual assets. Some of these look really good, nicely done stuff, good lighting, great textures, and even the modeling itself is really well done. So he created a game called Elemental Onslaught for a three week project at school. It's a free game, I've linked it below if you wanna check it out. And he also did a review of the Surface Pro on his YouTube channel, which I've also linked below. But that's it for this week's episode. It was on 3D Designers, hope you guys enjoyed it. Next week's episode is on something quite different. If you're interested in submitting your own stuff, check the video description below, there's full instructions there. And if you've already submitted and you didn't see your content, don't worry, just look for a future episode that might fit your submission a little bit better. If you're interested, vote as to who you thought was your favorite entry. And last thing about the prizes, I'm very close to finishing the details about that future video coming up shortly. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. It's been nice. I'll see you guys next time.